After this best of three series, a lot of question marks in the air, Vitality on that CT side, it's a dust two. The map pick of phase, and that may surprise you here considering Vitality, they are known to play a bit of dust in their time. But yeah, phase. I like the confidence pick, believing in your own game, not playing to your opponent's weaknesses. RPK, ooh, makes a bit of a push up on long, clears that position out and bails back. Phaser sitting at the top of middle. There's a heavy B set of Vitality expecting this play, but the Xbox smoke has gone down. It's already fading, but Phase have beaten it to the punch. They're up on this A site and RPK is calling for help. RPK in with one, but Kirby gets the response. Now, we haven't actually got a chance to cast this phase squad yet. I'm excited right. to see Kirby for my like initial eye test in the server. Zai Wu and the rest of the gang on for the retake in this four on two. It's Brokey and Kirby in the hot seat. And now it is just Brokey. Now, we were saying this man's good at clutches, but that's a pretty tall order to find a 1v4 in the first round here in this matchup. It doesn't go his way. Four players survive for Vitality. It's a team ace. I'm saying lots of words, all in favor of the Frenchman right now as they get that pistol locked in. Yeah, there's just so many things to say about this game and, and, and about the history of FaZe. I, I think I agree with you when you say like, oh, it's exciting to see Kirby into this role, right? He's, he's obviously getting better each game by the looks of things and learning a lot of new spots. He was talking about how he needs to learn his pacing and, and you know, moving from previous teams being a star player in some. So there's, uh, there's definitely going to be some switch ups here. But there's a lot of uh, a lot of brain power in this phase squad. A lot of experience. I don't need to tell you that. Just look at the names on the screen. Vitality, though, they are not sleeping at the wheel themselves. Taking a long in this round. Phase creepy crawl up the catwalk. Hugo, I want to hop on to your point about Kirby. Okay. Because, you know, you talk about him back in other teams. I'm very, very happy, and I hope that this leads to the resurgence of such a great player uh, from Denmark. You know, Kirby, obviously, been in that North squad for two and a half years. He was just kind of... I don't know, man. He made that big, big risk going there to be a star, and it all fell short, it felt like. I'm hoping that now, with a second chance in phase, we can see the resurgence of this man. And that's a very exciting prospect. But in this round, the Deagles, the Pistols, they're getting it done. And somehow, we're into this three on four. Now, two of these players are very, very low, and so they get mopped up right away by RPK. Nico was trying to stick the bomb plant, and he couldn't get away with it. So Vitality, they deny the plant, they get that second round. And we get to have a nice little segue conversation conversation about Kirby, the Dane in the server. Yeah, tw a stat you put out earlier, Harry, 25% of players here at ESO1 Cologne, or at least coming into ESO1 Cologne, yeah. Danish, which is kind of mad, right? And we're not just talking about like the mad line. Considering the, 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 country, the country is so small. Yes. That's incredible that like they're just so good at CS. It's actually borderline unfair. Yeah, it's not fair. And I've played CS with someone like Risk and I know he's not that good. So can someone explain <laughs> that to me? Nico going to open this round up with a kill onto Zai Wu. And that's the AWP already removed from this round. Sorry, Niels. Nico, <laughs> in he goes, looking for kills at the A site. And they are in rotation up through CT. Rain, while he is good for one. Now he's left Nico here all alone. And Brokey oh. tries to come in to help out, but he falls as well. Kirby is wrapping all the way through B, coming in on a very, very long rotation while Cold Zera holds down the long side. It's a two versus three. But the element of surprise may be in favor of Kirby to reclaim that advantage. Yeah, playing tight close to the wall. Shox was actually expecting it, but he didn't know that Kirby had already gotten out from B. He was looking at the doors, and so Kirby very fast, very much ahead of Vitality's expectation, and now RPK in a clutch. He has the bomb. We actually saw, um, I think it was Dupree in this exact position the other day. Oh, dear, he's caught Kirby. He's, is he going to stick around with the bomb? That's what Dupree decided against. He falls into oh. mid, he gets shot in the back, he's trapped, and Cole has his prey in front. No worry. Shuts it down in the 1v1. RPK he thought it, may, it was maybe too good to be true after he finds a free kill. And, well, it was. FaZe will trade and find their first. How great is it that RPK looks so damn good at Counter-Strike again? Yeah. I love that, man. I, I really do. Like, everything, everything about it is just so awesome. The fact that, like, so many players at the minute feel like they're getting their, like, second win. And, uh... And starting to show signs of, of that form from like their golden eras. And RPK is definitely one of them, man. He's been so good for Vitality as of late. And just looking better and better. That's the thing that's like most striking about it. It's not like a couple of one-off performances. It's like a gradual incline from him.
I even think like in-game leaders as a talking point is so cool with how many you know old school players are, are starting to pick up the in-game leading role like Apex for example talking of uh, he's going to remove the opposing in-game leader from phase a quick scout shot to the face and well these T's now have nowhere to go nowhere to hide I say that Vitality are very much just you know stacked on positions two in B three and long giving a lot of room to face they could just go A and bomb plant obviously RBK is watching from the pit Cold is holding on to long gotta be careful Phase being very methodical but little do they know they don't need to be and all this utility is pulling Vitality over to that side of the map Apex spotting in the middle gets flashed off. He's going to smoke the door. Oh, this could be a big kill, but yeah, he can't finish a job. And he's tagged down low by the scout. Faze committing with three smokes on the A side. We've got those uh, big smokes, the headshot angle one. we got one in CT and the close cat smoke. Molly to push Zywoo back. He's got to hide on the ramp. 30 seconds. That's a great shot. Zywoo finding the bomb out on the ground. And Faze now down by two. They're even getting flanked. Shox is pushed all the way in from the back line. Cold will trade that kill. Faze need fast kills and they need them now. Oh dear, the double peak will end their life. And Vitality, with not a lot of weaponry, are going to get it over the line. Cole's having a very, very good start to this game, though. Already looking a little bit scary. And that's what we want to see from Cold Zera. I hope that in, like, 20 years' time, you know, when we're on, like, CS100 or whatever the game's called then, Cold Zera comes back as a coach, renames to Old Zera, and yeah. that would just be phenomenal. That would complete it for me. Harry, right, looking to the future. Maybe, maybe you should look at the present, because right now it's just pistols. They got bigger things to worry about, Harry, than, than being a coach. Cold's got that one deeg surrounded by Glocks, the rattlesnakes from Rain up on the catwalk. He might drop into the spawn here. So I was going to try and stop that with the orb. Rain swings and he dies. And now comes the mid crunch. Shocks spots it. There's three on B. Vitality are so ready for this one. They've called it. They are in phases of brain. And Shocks is going to put a few bullets there too. The flash is lovely from Mizuta. And Vitality, a flawless round up to four. Phase coming back in with guns. Awesome, man. That's the thing, right? So we just had our little free cab RPK showing some old form. Well, Shocks, the guy who was just on camera, very much fits into that same category. It felt like for the longest time, we were all waiting for that vintage Shocks performance, and it feels like he's finally starting to give it to us. In this round, Brokey's opened up with an early frag onto Zaiwu. We see Shocks now donning that orb from Zaiwu's body. As he works his way into the B site, Masuba's going aggressive. Kirby is going to mop that one up. And so now we're into this five on three. Short control taken, four phase. Vitality gonna stack two players back in towards this A site. And while that was happening, Kirby was trying to sneak his way into B, but Shox was watching ever so diligently. This Molotov forces phase back off of short. RPK's just floating around. Love his hair, by the way. Nice and Silver Fox. Silver, Silver, Silver Fox. Fox. Yeah, that's what we've been calling Same him. The Silver Fox of Vitality. And oh, Shoxy down here in mid. Only good for one. RPK. Ah, goes in through the back and gets bested by Rain. FaZe are ready for that. They knew he was pushed up on short from earlier in the round. And so they're holding for it. Yeah, nice reaction from FaZe. That actually got a bit scary, right? Mizuta, he hears Kirby throwing those grenades and he tries to push, hoping he can catch him with grenades in his hand. Uh, that's why he just like sprints up. It looks nonsensical, but there's logic behind it. Kirby catches him. Shock stops Kirby from lurking into B. There could have been something there and that would have just probably been the round if Kirby got that kill. But FaZe, once they lose B and then they get pushed off of Cat, that's very scary. So a quick reaction to take middle and, and even deal with those fast flanking players. If there's one thing that's been clear from these opening six rounds, it's the vitality. When they know where FaZe are going, they're very quick to react. They've been in the back line. And so FaZe have already started to cotton on to that. They're going to take long in this round. The corner smoke down and flashes to get the AWP in the pit. Brokey's holding. We've got Zywu Warp as well up on Catwalk. He might need to come back. Apex is already clearing middle. And this is where Vitality, they've got enough experience. They've got enough tenure. They know what's going on. Apex might even flank uh, long here, but FaZe are very far pushed up. And RPK is going to be communicating that one now. As I will throwing in flashbangs, it's good utility, but it's not going to stop FaZe. 
And they're actually leaving long a little bit. They're not not looking like they're going to go all the way back, but they pull the brakes temporarily, and now they decide to recommit. This is like, I've never seen this many smokes in one place. Flash through, Brokey going to deal with RPK and tap in the smoke. Kirby gets even more damage onto Zai Wu, sends him out of the route. Shock's here, helping out by dealing with Brokey at least, but it's still the advantage for FaZe, and at this point in time, it might just have to be a save for Vitality. A three on four retake when your money is about to be broken is not where you want to find yourself. So they will make every effort to hold on to these weapons. And again, that expectation of a flank is so present in that round for FaZe. As you say, right, the flashes are holding Vitality or, or FaZe back, rather. They're not committing, they're stopping on long. And meanwhile, Cold is mollying the long doors. Like, FaZe haven't even crossed past the long smokes, and, and they're already mollying the flank. Apex didn't commit, he climbed up Catwalk in the end. But that's just so funny to see. FaZe, they don't want to give any room to Vitality. They don't want to allow anyone to poke them in the back. And that will be a a bomb plant that is converted with a couple of guns saved, two orps as well. So all things are good for Vitality in terms of the money, but FaZe is starting to build into this matchup. Three rounds and a quick pause for Vitality to try and work out what they want to do. Obviously a save will be coming through here before they're by in the next, but even that one won't be too pretty. And so yeah, this is going to be a difficult round where you might just like lean towards a site with the guns uh, and, and try and play for the saves. Never a fun game plan, but with two orbs as well held on. I mean, there's always a chance, right? Those two orbs could certainly win you the round. I'll have to wait and see because Vitality, what is their game plan? I love watching Apex lead. He's so animated, you know, like he sat there, you see him talking with his hands, looking down the line, pointing, you know, like talking to everyone. And that's great, you know, I always think it's so good whenever you have a very animated in-game leader. Him and Shock's like sparking up that dialogue between the two of them as to how they want to play in this round. Ooh, and they have gone for a forced buy. Yeah, I'm not even against this because yeah. as I said, the loss bonus is so low that I was you thinking... know, the next buy wouldn't have even had an orb. So this makes sense. As long as you've got a game plan behind it. And so now we get to see what that game plan is. Mid take for FaZe, and how are Vitality going to respond to this? Because it's not actually a mid play. Oh, rain you send smoke. Rain in, but that smoke missing its mark leaves the sight line open. And now this secondary AWP of Zai Wu about to get rewarded, perhaps. Nico jiggling the angle. I don't know how many more times you want to peep that if you're Zai Wu. RPK is engaged in a bit of a fight that he can't get out of at long. Shocks has come rotating in with this orb. But now posted up on the angle oh. is a man named Brokey. The flash is going oh, no. to Kirby, one bullet. <laughs> Tried to land it. Tried to make it work. Zai Wu flashed off the angle and Brokey's going to best him. Nico's up in the A site and almost had the element of surprise. But Masuta checks for it. Damage through the smoke. Not quite finding a kill. Now look at Apex. Look at this guy. Look at him. Ooh, Apex. He sees the barrel. Oh, oh broke no. He faked the bomb plot. And now Apex is in the site. That's a disaster. He got off it right as he was done with the planting animation. Just switching a second too soon. And now it's left on to Kyobi, the new boy in phase. 1v2 with an AWP in hand. And this is a very tricky round indeed. Especially with how Vitality are playing this. I love that. They've, they've got like a... Two different height levels set up here. I can't think of the word. Different verticality, that's the one. It's Kirby, as he tries to peek that, the double peek is in and he can't dodge it. Brokey screws Kirby there, right? Like, he had the plan. Even though Apex was walking up on him, that's a classic. You think you, you think the animation is done. You see your, your arms put the bomb down. You go, cool, I can switch weapons. But, yeah, he, he switches too early and Apex just jump shots him. If that plant went through, not only does Kirby have a Molotov for the bomb, but it, it's, it's planted for long. He's on plat with the orb. He's in the perfect position. That's his round. So, yeah, man, uh, just a bit of an error there from Brokey. And that's going to cost them phase quite literally losing the money. They would have loved that bomb plant at a bare minimum because now they're down to a tech nine on Brokey. Fast B play through the smoke. Good trade from Nico Cold it is fed to the Wolves and Apex and Shocks are still here to play. They don't know about Shocks yet. That Molly's going to force face in or out and they will go into the jaws of Shocks. Two more for him and a lovely B-hole for Vitality. They've been running these triple B setups pretty consistent. That B setup is, is something else, man. That is great. You have the first guy, Masuta, just peeking up close, right? If he goes down, 
Apex up from this mid rotation draws all the attention in. And you mentioned that Molotov. That Molotov is so beautiful. It pushes them out of the tunnels. And they're, they're now adamant that that second B player is it. And he is in the window. Yeah. So they can move into that site. Because it's not uncommon that when you're playing 2B, you do try and get to the window. So you can kind of pick and choose your fights. And they run in. They completely discount that car position. And Shox just lights them all up from it. What a treat right now, Vitality are. Yeah, this is ages ago. But I want to cast your mind back to the beginning of the round prior to that one. Uh, oh, Faze love to do this. Oh, Nico's playing football. Uh, yeah, Rain tried to throw a CT smoke and he got flashed. And as he threw it, it landed just like a centimeter too left. Nico's footballs yeah. that landed in his nasty neighbor's back garden and they aren't giving that one back. Nico's having to go around, ring the doorbell. Excuse me, Miss Uta, can I have my football back? <laughs> no. I love it. There it is, rolling into the site. Look at it. Moment of silence for the football. Nico, poor guy. Isn't that in T-spawn, that spawn, so you have to bring it all the way over? Yeah, yeah. That's a dedication as well. He was just trying to have a kick around with his mates, and it's all gone wrong. Man, that's sad. I'm sad now. Baze, why you do me like this? And now they're going to try and go out long. You know, the ball game's all over. Oh, RPK. Here it is. Here's the mow down. There's two. There it is. All of them for RPK. And a seventh on the board for Team Vitality. Quick as you like it. I mean, not super quick, but from the first kill out long to the last kill, RPK finds everyone with no issue. Nice little off angle can drop into the pit as well if he pleases, but no need when they're on at pistols. Money's finally stabilized for both sides, but FaZe don't have a bank built up. They've gone in with the AWP. Very slow start for FaZe. Felt good. Felt like a back and forth, but that one round with the bomb plant on A just not coming through has had resounding consequences considering they forced right after it. So three in a row for the French. RPK and Shoxie looking good. Guys that we were talking about before this game. And Zaiwu, not really needed, right? Not really been in a position where we expect anything of him. I've just received word as yeah. to why this pause is called in. I don't know if you heard no, it. I haven't. Uh, Yanko, DC, um, usually he was the guy to fix the servers <laughs> back when we were doing like all the all the shows. He'd always be the guy he'd put on the task of getting the broadcast running again. But now we've come full circle and he was the one delaying it for a change. Analysts stop talk, start game. Well, we've started the game. But we're not going to stop talking. 7 to 3, and the orb is in mid. It's not going to find anything for Brokey. Zywoo's taking his towards that B bomb site, looking for the early pick. FaZe are heading here, hounding him down with four. Not looking like an, uh, a full commitment B rush just yet. They're taking their time to line up utility, get that door smoking, perhaps. Zywoo, how fast are you? Very. Brokey's gone, and Zywoo gets a chance to scope up again. No need, as FaZe won't be feeding the beast. The Molotov is down, and Nico's going to pick up the orb. Elsewhere they go to avoid Zaiwu. And look at the long push. Top mid is controlled. That was enough info gained by Zaiwu. They don't have to care about a lurk or a player waiting around. Shox is supporting RPK, who's going to find two. Shox dead. RPK, another 4K back to back. This time it's against the guns. And nothing will stop this man. 16 to 6. Boy, oh boy, he is looking fresh. And like we all said, you know, like when the youngsters of Zywoo and Masuta join this team, they just can't possibly live up to RPK and Shocks, right? This is unreal from these two, uh, uh, like, vintage gentlemen of the French scene. They're looking so damn good right now. 16 and 6 on RPK. He's just snuck right up on Shocks, who was a, a firm frag leader in this half. Well, now RPK is going for his trophy. It is just pistols here for FaZe as they try and group up down here in the lower tunnels. Shock's waited on the other side. He's looking to catch up with old mate RPK. And this could be the round. Play an anti-flash. Oh, oh, there it is. Mow down. Apex has stolen them away from Shocks. He's put <laughs> up a double. Shocks is molding right now as oh. Brokey and Nico are left in this two on four. And you're dead on, Hugo. That bob is in the pile of bodies that find themselves out in mid right now. Apex is looking to join the board. He's like, I don't like it that you're talking about like the old boys and you're not saying my name. And so here he is trying to catch up with the rest of the gang. 
just broke your left arm with only a deagle, and this would require something genuinely just just disgusted to pick a round up for phasing, and it's not going to happen. In that uh, pre-game interview, the pre-recorded one between Frankie and Apex, he was saying like, when we're on our A game, when we're playing on the top of our level, no one can beat us. Like we, we can take down anyone in the server, uh, and that's certainly true. Vitality, they are looking like they're on their A game. They look like they're playing at a very high percentile because individually, these guys are slaying phase right now. And that gap is getting bigger and bigger by the second. Five in a row for the Frenchman. Faze, this is it. You want to actually be in this map? You want to be in your pick? You've got to win this round. Otherwise, things are going to fall apart. Now rest assured, the server hasn't crashed. This is FaZe really slowing down the pace in this round. Nico swaps the orb back into Brokey's hand, so he gives him his weapon a choice. And he's now going to throw down that mid smoke. Might be for Xbox, actually, and indeed it is. That's going to give them somewhat of a safe passage into middle. Oh. Zai Wu, Brokey was posted up there waiting for that peak, and so he gets rewarded. Cat control taken. But while this is happening, keep your eye on Masuta. Vitality love to do this, especially if they lose a player early on. They'll push and they'll take tunnels away. Now, if he keeps going forward, he's going to run into Kirby, but he actually wins the fight. Masuta, he's ready for that. He's ready for Kirby playing an angle that doesn't exist. And now we're into this four on four. He was even on top of the ledge. Like, that's a full off angle from Kirby. And Mizuta's just pre fight. <laughs> Mizuta's like, I know. It's okay. Ooh. I got this. Yeah, I, I like oh. the slow start from FaZe, but it's, it's ticking down the clock, Harry. There's only 20 seconds left. They've got to make a move. And this bomb is so deep on long. So I'm okay. If he stays alive and he doesn't, that could have been everything. Apex needs kills and he needs them now. 15 seconds. Apex pre firing. He can't finish off the job. The inaccuracy bites him back. And Rain has taken this round for FaZe. There's nothing Shocks could do except take down the bomb and he hits the leg on Brokey. If only Shox took that kill, that would have been the round. But the jump across saves FaZe. Oh, that was scary. That was to the wire. This time Brokey sticks the bomb, which is always nice. And it's going to be a FaZe finding a fourth. I, I, I like the start of that round though, right? The f way the FaZe play it really slow and passive because the one round that they went into beer, they made a bit of noise and one of them died and they actually got spotted. Um, we saw RPK and Shox just rush long, like no fear, full full W mode, and come in on that flank. FaZe just go, all right, they're going to do something. They're going to make a move. Let's wait. Nothing happens. They throw the Xbox smoke, and Brokey's just holding for Zaiwu. He gets that pick, and that opens up a world of opportunity. Shox finds one on the exit. But Rain, he ain't going to be too sad about that round. Three kills to his name, and the, the saving grace that was this round for FaZe. Sixth round, or nine six half, still on the horizon, still doable. Shocks just looking away at the wrong time. Bro keep further away from the angle. Gets to see him a little bit sooner. And that will be Shocks' downfall. A fast and, and pretty heavy mid-rotation here for Vitality to boost up Apex on top of this CT box. Now, there was a world in which Catwalk was pretty barren as a result. But FaZe, we know that they're not a team that like to go too quickly after getting that first kill. Instead, they kind of, you know, they, they sit around and they know that it's Vitality under the pressure in a four on five. So they just wait in these key, like, pivotal points of the map and wait for these pushes to come through. Now, in this instance, there haven't been any pushes yet. And so eventually it is going to fall to FaZe to make that first move happen. And they will try and do that now with these mid smokes going in. Not the most convincing mid smoke setup you've ever seen. One of those missing and that might give Zaiwu a bit of a sight line here from the crossroads. So that's a scary thought to run into. Nico looks like he might just be holding on to mid to catch these rotations, and that's going to leave Masuta all alone in the B site. He's getting pressured from the tunnel. So many players, and the shot baited by Brokey jumping over him. 
has now opened up B and left him in a three on four. Nico's holding for the rotate and Apex was never even aware. One in the back of the head and he'll fall. This is likely just going to be the save for Vitality. Yeah, they've got a bit of money for the last round of the half, but they know this round isn't doable once they've lost their tunnels control. Uh, maybe if that was Mizuta coming in on the wrap, he would have expected it, but uh, Apex dead in the water. Yeah, we're getting a lot of missed smokes this game. Maybe the nerves getting to some players, right? Not just Rain missing his mid to B. Um, Apex threw a mid smoke from CT and it bounced because I think he threw it through a smoke and he got the angle just slightly off and it bounced wrong and Nico takes that gap. He gets out into middle. Uh, he doesn't do anything with it, right? As you said, just holding rotations, not wanting to die to, uh, you know, any, many of the awful angles in middle or a CT or a holding window. And FaZe, they didn't rush down Mizuta after getting that first kill because they were expecting more. We've seen heavy B setups uh, every time FaZe have entered this B bomb site, And so you can see they're, they're waiting for someone else before they go for the swing. Well communicated though, Kierby and his teammate both peeking as Brokey jumps across. That is just so annoying. You aim for the jumping player, you immediately regret it. And FaZe are going to find five, six on the horizon. Double orb though for Vitality, and that's a great shot from Brokey. Hitting the leg, hitting his shocks on the cross. Cold's going to take long, fast. FaZe have that smoke down that's been so good to them in the past. And oh dear, Nico, he might be able to catch this. I think he just has. He's seen Apex push the top and middle as he throws the Xbox smoke. A big opening kill. And now that you know you've been flanked, FaZe, they don't have to commit to A. They're likely expecting a full stack there. And even though that isn't the case, they're going to hold off. They're going to slow down. And they're going to let Nico do his thing. Ah. Oh, Pazai Wu waiting for the wrap in through T-Spawn. And now the four remaining players of phase left to have Nico lead them from beyond the grave. Going to start to push up through long. Nades raining over. Flash is going to get Kirby across, and he does best RPK. This Molotov going to keep Masuta out of Catwalk, Whoa. and it's the double Molly as well. Followed up by a smoke from FaZe, and actually the Molotovs being there leave a huge gap in that smoke as a result. Daiwu and Masuta are over at short, re-smoke for FaZe, and now the nades raining through Kirby in this close angle. This is not something that Vitality are going to be ready for, surely. As all three of them group up over here short side, Zaiwu's going to flash along with his teammate, but Kirby ain't <laughs> blind, and as a result, he gets them all. It's just shocks left in the 1v4. Pretty tall order for someone this low on HP and Kierby playing. Oh man, there's a re-smoke. This is rough. That's horrific. FaZe, they, uh, they, yeah, they just forced so shocks to save at round 15. Stats. So, you know, yeah, playing for stats. All of us want to give the kill over. FaZe Clan, you can see those GG bet odds. They've kind of shrunk on down a little bit with Vitality still in the lead. And this pistol round about to begin. Or rather, I guess it has begun. But has it really begun until the first man falls? Let's find out. Masuta holding onto the tunnels. And ooh, cold. In with the peak. Zaiwu with a very, very swift response to leave us back into a four on four. And already, this is heating up. Sweaty stuff in the server. Nico with the kit double flash. He's sat CT side. Vitality going up towards A and FaZe, but the looks of things are going to have to retake this round. There's no way to stop. There's no one to stop these T's from getting the plant. Kebby is tucked deep in the pit as well. He's waiting on this lurk. It's him versus shocks, and timing is everything, especially with a lot of the noise being made up on Catwalk. It, well, it hasn't been made yet, but it's about to be, and Nico is going to have to call for some support. Can he get into position in time? Does he even want to risk losing his life with all of this utility? Only one of those flashes would be dropped if he were to depart this round. Plant is safe. It's not for shocks either. Kierby should be able to deal with this flank. Although, Vitality, this all feels too good to be true. They're going to be very uh, aware and waiting for someone to come in from this position. Kierby's given up his position oh. and shocks is letting them pass. This is perfection. Oh. They have no idea. Oh. One, two. Oh, ah. dear. there's the dink. And he just needs to stay alive. He doesn't even need to fight because this bomb is planted for short. A position that Vitality already owned. Nico's come in with a double. This is pandemonium. Apex is like, Shox, help me, please. I just need some assistance. And oh, Shox does beat Kirby, but they're on the bomb. They're sticking it. Nico is a kit, and he's going to get away with the defuse. And Shox, oh. just a second too late. FaZe get the pistol round somehow. Yeah. It, <laughs> it goes their way. That's such a shame for Shox, man. It's like, you know, they're facing it the wrong way, hitting CTs in the back of the head. We all know how hard it can be. And the moment he misses that initial spray, the pressure starts to get to him. He's getting peaked. He's having fire returned his way. 
and uh, a range is allowed to slip on by. It's full hindsight, Andy, but it would have made so much more sense for him to kill them both in the doors when he had the opportunity rather than let him let him get further away. I know the logic. There. Yeah, I know the logic, right? That plus the fact that the longer they don't know you're there, the more valuable the position becomes. But like you said, back of the head hitboxes, mm -mm -mm, not fun, <laughs> not fun. Phase, they win a pistol like this. Remember when we were like 9-3 down? This felt like Vitality was storming the board. Now this game just got a whole lot more competitive, especially with this buy. Look at these acres. Yeah, but now we play this game of who won the pistol round, because it could be Vitality, it could be Phase, and you could tell me either and I'd believe you. Look at this, man. The AK is ready to do damage. They're into this three on four, but Kirby wrapping long could hit a great timing here. No one is even considering this for Vitality. Kirby, is the timing going to be there? They do turn back around and they spot him, but they don't get the kill. And in the meantime, Apex even fell up on short, dropping the bomb. So RPK is left in this 1v4. A very tricky round indeed. Does deal with Nico. Popping over. Brokey's going to fall as well. But Kirby, returning from his adventures at long, is now posted up, ready to deal with RPK, who needs the ace in this clutch if he wants to pick it up for Vitality. Cold Zera is a long way away, but Kirby should have this locked in, coming up through the ramp, catches him by surprise, and Kirby is such a nuisance in that round. It's eight on the board for FaZe as they overcome that very strong bite from Vitality. Yeah, but it's it's not a worry yet, right? You still got an eco, you still got a round to play Deegs of your vitality, and only then will FaZe be equal with you. You're on the T side of, uh, yes, your opponent's map pick, but one that you are more than comfortable playing. Gabby is looking comfortable. Gabby is looking good in his role right now, and the results are showing. Will they keep up? Nico's on a pistol. He knows that the money is low for vitality, and even with the damage done in the last round, they're unlikely to force back in again. And he's right. So fast up the catwalk. Oh, watching onto middle, playing it safe, not giving that info. So FaZe have to be aware of this position potentially being lost. And so Nico spotting for it. We've seen the Glock uh, into USP Ecos. Well, now it's the uh, inverse, the more, the more standard, the more typical, and the more flashy, for sure. How many can Nico get, especially with them setting up a run boost right now? <laughs> RBK definitely wants to kill right before uh, Vitality commit, but nothing is getting offered. Even that player at car is only just playing it on a timing, and range should not die from this range. There's the run boost, in they go. Well, Masuta, <laughs> valiant attempt. Oh, Nico with three on the USP as well. You hate to see it. That second pistol round for Nico coming in clutch for him. And now he's got plenty of money as well. Looking to the future. Ooh. Ooh. Kirby. Just wiping the sweat off your hands. We've all been there. Of course, you can follow his only phase. Uh, you can get on that. <laughs> Zaiwu now donning the AWP, and he's got Nico to go off against on the other side. Taking that eco in the round prior. He's bringing out the AWP straight away, and he's got quite the man to go up against on the other side. Yeah, there are certain maps and certain halves where Nico is going to demand that AWP from Brokey, and Brokey, there's, like, there's not really much he can do there. He can't really say, no, Nico, I'm not giving you the AWP. Captain, sir, Hunter's brother, or cousin, rather. Brothers now. Yeah, family. Same thing, really. Uh... 9-9, nine, nine. let's move on. Nico, he's looking into middle. We haven't got a heavy B setup, and that's where Vitality are ending. The mid to B smoke's coming through. The flick from Nico is good, and the Molotov will follow. Shocks is pushed out, but he still gets the entry. That is obscene. Two low HP players, and B has been lost as these Ts run right through. That rotation of Brokey just out of the sight at the wrong time, and now FaZe have to play retake with almost no utility. And Apex is waiting to come in on a cat drop to cut off these rotations. He's being very, very sneaky. It's actually a save from FaZe. They just immediately give this round up. They go, yeah, you're, you know what, Vitality, they did, the, they did the right thing. They catch Apex up on the short lurk. That's it for this round. You love seeing a bunch of dudes just huddle together over at long. Then boy, oh boy, have I got the round for you. This is just the save here, as it's a tenth on the board for Vitality.
Definitely the right call. Uh, I wonder why Brokey rotated there, right? There was uh, maybe he was called for support. There was already a heavy mid setup, and of course, Shocks does that get that entry clearing cold in the corner. Nico smoked off, even with his Molotov down. Maybe a second earlier could have made all the difference, but he did what he had to do. He hit that tag shot. And yeah, Brokey, if he maybe put up a kill on B, even that spam through the smoke coming in late did a lot of damage. Not going to be enough to tempt FaZe back into the round, and they weren't to know. If they had flashes and smokes, maybe they could have gone for it, but not worth it with one or two bits of utility. Better to pull your money together for the follow-up. This has been very back and forth, though. No clear winner in sight, and that's exactly what we want. Opening map of this best of three series. Winner going to playoffs. Sai Wu. Oh, the flash is good. He's not going to get a chance. There was a jumping player across long, but it's missed. And he goes back into more. Double nade. Oh, dear. Kiebi hits him through the smoke. And the nades landed deep, trapping him in that forward angle. And Kiebi just fires off. An opening kill for FaZe Clan and a huge scalp to find. Flash up cat for Shoxy. Oh dear, he even looks at it. So no control, no info, and they're just going to crunch B. Coldzera has got this flash for Brokey. He's currently playing anti-flash. He goes back in. It's a good flash bang, and that delays the trade onto Brokey following up with that Molotov, but it's missed the mark somewhat. It's going to delay the push from RPK, and that buys precious time for the rotations. Nico, still holding short, was determined to put a stop to a flank that somehow he knows about. RPK now, 1v3. Waits for the peak from Nico. Nothing given over yet. Going to try and maneuver around this smoke, but Nico posted up at the double doors. That's a terrifying sight to contend with. And Whoa. a missed shot. But there's Rain to pick up the pieces. It's 10 on the board and a team ace for FaZe. I don't know about you, but it still feels like we're seeing like teams have to get used to the door switch around. I could imagine like maybe yeah. that's the case, right? You've been playing with it that way for, for years now. I think it was Dupree in that Astralis game against Vitality. I could like, you know when you can you watch a player and you can kind of see what's going through their head by how they move their mouse. He like tried to throw a flash that he usually would be able to throw out the doors from the B-bomb site, but then he realizes he's like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And he had to throw it over the top instead. Little things like that. So yeah, getting used to it, of course, but it's I don't think anyone's against it. It's a good change. Dust to it's, it's a bit of a refresher. You know, Moses has talked about the idea of switching up bomb sites on maps rather than trading out maps, you know, to change the angles, change the positions. Whether or not you agree with that, I think the idea of, of doing stuff like this, like swapping the doors is cool. It keeps things fresh. You know that Yanko's been scraping through these demos as well, or maybe Nico, because both times that, that Vitality have tried to have this cat lurk, which is a common thing that they do uh, to drop CT or to kill saving players on long, Nico has just been hard scoped for it late in the round. So good to see, not letting these lurkers catch him off guard. But that's a, a round on the B bomb site, a round for Vitality just to fall short of. Putting us 10 to 10, putting us close as they come. Nico continuing with this main AWP. Zaiwu so on glass as well, working on thin ice. We had a lot of questions on him. He was our Epic's pick as well. Wondering if he would perform in this series after a bit of a slow one against Astralis. You can't blame him for that too much, but this is a match Vitality need him to perform in. Nico with his or peering out long. He sees the cross, but he won't hit the shot. Shocks lives to fight another day. And Kirby's actually pushed the uh, the doors, looking to come in on another one of these flanks, perhaps. Rain moving over to play this orb drop down position, and he's got Nika ready and waiting with a flash to facilitate this peak. This is a great little wombo combo. There's the flashbang, it works. Rain doesn't get rewarded, but he gets him oh, on dropping yeah. down. Apex is gonna catch him down here in the middle. That's Kirby's green light to get the hell out of long doors and start to come in on this flank, but the B site has fallen. Kirby gets dropped as well, and it's Nico left in a 1v3. He's dealt with the first man. They do get one into the B site. Shox is over on catwalk as well. Nico is aware that temporarily there's a 1v1 inside of B. Masuta ooh, catches the Timing, no Nico way. goes back for the mid player, and now just Masuta left to find. He doesn't know where he's gone, and Masuta just narrowly gets that one over the line. It's a damn good try from Nico. 
But Masita holds his own and the barrel's going to betray Nico there out through the doors. That is terrifying as well. And, and it all falls apart. It all is off the back of RP, um, not RPK rather, a rain dropping catwalk. And Faze not having that mid control, no info, no knowledge. And he gets caught. And at that point, everyone's scrabbling. Everyone's rotating. Shox is at the top of mid, catching Kierby on his flank. Uh, Vitality, they're able to get the plant. That could have been very scary with Nico taking down the first man and, and almost killing Masuta alone in the site. But he holds his own, he hides at the back of the boxes, and he trades out shocks in middle. Oh boy. That's the kind of CSI expected to see in this game. Not not you know the slow stuff that we've been left with at the start of these rounds. Things getting frantic here for FaZe, and money is an object of their desires. They just have pistols here. I would bottom of the server right now, worth noting. Yeah, both the AWPers having a reasonably quiet performance. Right? Brokey on the other side, obviously we see Nico picking up the AWP a lot on Dust2 CT side in particular, but... Um, you know, both the two usual Ooh. suspects. Rage, <laughs> how's he got away with that? Mazuta, Rage at Apex right now. You're meant to be holding middle! How has that just happened? And Apex don't even know either. He's such a nice guy. He tried to put together an answer, but he can't. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, considering not only is Zaiwu in T-Spawn watching mid-doors, but Apex is there as well. Like, one of them's watching long, but what's Zaiwu watching? I don't know. That is very unfortunate. Luckily enough, that danger... Well, I was going to say it might be short-lived, but Cold's found another with an eagle, and it's two on three. Maybe they even catch a mid-player, but that's where Zaiwu lays down the pain, takes out the brain of Brokey, and now it leaves Cold in a 1v2 clutch. The bomb going in through long into this A site. And Cold, he's already on rotation up through the catwalk, has this AK to play with, doesn't have armor behind it, that molly baits the peak, and in his dying breath, he burns out Shoxy, but also goes down. It's 12 on the board for Vitality. However, you know, considering what was invested in that round, that is a very good round for FaZe. And while it sucks that they don't get it over the line, Cold Zero putting up three, Rain getting one, that leaves only Zaiwu surviving. So that's a very expensive round for Vitality. And that has put FaZe now in a position where they can look to to turn this game around on the back of the money. Oh, fast long spawn, the jump over, somehow hits the shot, hits Nico down at 40, but the nade returns the favor. And with heavy long control getting spotted, Mizuta is already fast up the catwalk. He won't do anything with that. He had a timing to cross, but now that timing is gone. You may have heard rain dropping CT as well. It's all a bait, though, because Nico's still holding down this angle and Kierby is tucked in the corner. This will be the A split. Vitality going in early as well, not bleeding too much time out. Smoke's landing on that CT spawn. Shox is dropping off into it. Rain is so blinded, but he's still going to get away with a kill. Somehow down to six, but still standing tall. Kierby does what he needs to do. Gets one, traded, and Mizuta's found the AWP on the A side. That is huge as well. Nico had to move after Kierby went down, and in his dying movement, he's going to get caught off by that cat lurk. Zaiwu gets the bomb planted on the A site, and FaZe, they've got to give this one a go. Brokey has a Molotov. He needs to get that in ASAP. Zaiwu's dropped his smoke. That could provide a bit of sanctuary inside of the site. And he's pulled out the AWP off the body of Nico as well. There's the shot. Broken core. Zaiwu can't follow up with Rain. And 6 HP has somehow made this one close. Mizuta should be a free kill oh. through the wall and through the smoke. Somehow, it's RPK in the clutch. He's moved in, he's closed the distance at long, he spots Cole, but it's Rain, six points of health and a 4K in the round to get an 11th on the board for FaZe. That's the thing, man, the individuals on this FaZe squad are good enough to get it done single-handedly, and that's what can make them so scary. Now, the implications of the round prior to last, coming down to that 1v1, Cold and Zaiwu, and then obviously Cold dying and the Molotov finding shocks, blah, blah, blah. Point is, you know what happened in the round, and only Zaiwu survived. Well, now the money is in a really, really rough spot for Vitality. So suddenly, FaZe, thanks to their, their, their ability to get that force by so close, are now picking this round up they have bought the economy of vitality to its knees and they should be in a position now to pick up a 12th and tie things up rain always looks so good on dust too i just can't think of him ever having a bad map here even when phase lose 
I can't believe he got away with those four kills on six health. It's a B set piece. The flash smoke for Zai Wu. Apex leading the charge with this AK. Well, he won't be going in first, expecting the AWP, and they've already seen it in the hand of Cold. Not even Brokey here. Poor guy. Doesn't get his primary weapon, but he's got all the util. He's got all the grenades, and they may be needed after all. Shock's is going to go up Catwalk to try and keep phase on this side of the map. They're waiting out the smoke in B. Shock's making some noise. Rain ain't falling for it. A deep nade could be chunky, and with the lack of armor, it really is. No molly to follow. Brokey one taps down RBK. The flash isn't even in. It's not even needed because Brokey has already won this round. Great shot for Zai Wu. He's actually found the AK as well from the body of Apex, but can he really do anything with it? The answer is a swift no, as provided by Cold Zera there. 12 to 12, the double orbs looking dangerous here. I mean, if Furia showed us anything yesterday, it's yeah. that more orbs equals less problems. Until you start to lose rounds. And, and then, actually, it's it's quite the problem, yeah. having more orbs. And like, FaZe are on the tipping point, you know? They, they may have strangled the, the money out of Vitality's wallet, but they're not exactly rich either. They need to keep these rounds clean if they want to take this pick. Zywoo's out long fast. Kirby's been smoked. He's got to fall back. He's got to give it up. And this is a lot of control now for Vitality. Control they've not had for free. They've often been trading their way out on long uh, when Kirby sits in the pit. I see if they even get out into that position, as we've seen FaZe often play three there early with the AWP rain. Again, he's found a lot of timings in this game out middle, and he's joined by Brokey too. Shox is holding such a passive line. Uh, he's not going to be able to see anything. He's holding for the top mid push. And so this is giving FaZe all the room to work with. Apex with only a pistol is going to get checked, and there's no way he should win this fight. Oh, he's done a dink. Rain again low, but as we know, that's not going to hold him back. Yeah, Shox reconsiders that one. He has the bomb. He doesn't <laughs> want to lose it. It's like, I could go get the trade, but if I die, I would be throwing the round away. So, you know, he did the maths quickly and decides against it. Now they group up back in top mid. They leave Masuta over at long. So this looks like it's going to culminate in a split at this A bomb site, right? Having Masuta come in a little bit later once you've pressured Catwalk. The problem is, and this is something that Vitality are not aware of at all, is that FaZe have stacked oh, very, very heavily, both at the Catwalk oh, and at this A site in general. They flash Kirby in. While he's only good for one, the flashes, they keep coming, and that's going to hold back this push. Now that they've spotted Masuta, they're pretty sure in this assumption in the A split. RPK giving up the goods. Oh, oh he's in with the third. RPK has actually just rescued this round for Vitality. There were four players in this site, and RPK deals with almost every single one of them. Brokey in the clutch, but this man is often so good in these situations. He takes out the first, even spots RPK at the back of the site. Uh, there we go. He grabs the AK, takes him a moment, looking for the kill. Oh, RPK in with number four and a 13th on the board for Vitality. It's another close round, and that's something that's going to harm Vitality once again, right? The money, even though they win that, isn't great. So it's going to be Mac 10s, it's going to be Galil's in this buy, and they're going to be coming up against some resistance from FaZe. You know, there's a few players there with around the 3,400 mark. So you could either have a force buy here and now to try and reset Vitality, or you play it safe. You partially invest down to like two, three, three K, and that's the decision they've gone for. But the risk you run with this, right? You play safer for your own game, but also now, if this round is clean for Vitality, uh, oh, not like this. Yeah, it's not clean for Vitality, so we don't have to worry about that scenario. This should be this should be fine, right? Three on three, they've got B, they can plant, that's theirs. And as long as they play by the numbers, they shouldn't be able to give away any more kills. I'm saying that, and I'm not really believing it. Apex, careful, buddy. Fighting in middle, might just want to lock down this round. There's not good guns for FaZe to pick up either. It's a scout and uh, an SMG dropped over. So things are fine right now. Things are good. Apex hanging around in middle. Maybe he didn't need to. Maybe thinking that FaZe would save. Well, they're going for this. They have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Kierby is screwed, though, with that deep smoke. RPK, he's not missing that shot in a million years. Zywoo has a flash. No need to use it. Got to fight towards the tunnels. And now Nico has an AK. They're going to go for this. They're going to move in. Kierby, oh, no, he's thinking he's doing the damage. But RPK will clean it up. And Zywoo mows down both mid players from the window. That got awfully scary for a second but hey that's more entertaining isn't it vitality 14 to 12 
They do push it over the line. This is FaZe coming back in with a buy, and this is for their map pick. Vitality looking to swoop in and steal it away. Once again as well, because of the damage that was done, FaZe have left themselves in a very good spot. You know, I almost would have loved them just uh, playing for exits in that round. That would have been a cool scenario. Zywoo's really stepped up. He had like eight kills four or five rounds ago. He's now up to 14. He's now rivaling his teammates as well. So having that, uh, the trick up your sleeve, the ace in the hole, Zywoo on the AWP, could certainly be a good thing for Vitality near the end of this game. Well, up through Cat for this bomb. That's on the back of Masuta, and he's got Apex alongside him. They're going to get Cat control right away. Now, this is heard by Rain. He knows that there's a couple of players there. Keep your eye on Kirby as well. We know he likes to go for these long door pushes, and he certainly looks a little bit curious right now. Timing hasn't been ideal for Kirby in a lot of these long pushes. It's a very mixed bag of results, but a lot of the time it feels like Vitality have both been ready for it, or it's just come in a little too late in the round to have the impact you would like. And Kirby is aggressing through those long doors again. But that's not going to matter if the B site is already overrun by Vitality. Shark's holding on to the bottom of mid. Kirby is wrapped all the way around. So he gets the... This is much better time for Kirby. He gets the info that it is a B play. He, he assures FaZe that they're right in this assumption and Brokey holding it down with cold. They make quick work of the push, leaving it onto Shocks in what was a 1v5, now 1v4, but with only 12 points of health. It's not looking good for old mate Shocks. A crucial Molotov comes in there into the B tunnels as well, right? Vitality were just about to hit it as Kirby was coming out through the doors, but then the Molly hits for FaZe and Vitality have to wait six, seven more seconds. They don't worry because they think, oh, you know, FaZe don't know we're here. FaZe don't know we're four in the tunnels. But Kirby, as you said, hit that timing. He's cleared everything out. He calls to it. FaZe send a third rotation in the form of rain over towards that B site from middle. And they just absolutely slaughter the Frenchman as they come through the tunnels. Good work from Brokey, really holding his own, cold supporting, and the utility. I mean, the, all the flash assists are actually team flash assists from the likes of Vitality. So things definitely fell apart there near the end. We got a stay hydrated reminder there. Good reminder, yeah. I'm going to hit up a little bottle of water now. That's open. That's not mine. That's Lawrence. I don't want to drink that. Well, maybe I'll get water after this game. But that's a reminder for all you folks watching at home. Right now, Vitality might be drowning soon. They are forcing up against 13. This is a dangerous decision, but it's the best one they got. Oh dear, Nico and Rain in tandem hitting a shot apiece. Zywu with a tech, it's bad, it's spamming, but he will get saved by his teammate. RPK finding two with a P2, and RPK? somehow he's going to do it again, all on his own. Look at the bomb, it's dropped into spawn. They don't know that Cold is on cat. Apex is so far away, and Cold could end this round right here, right now. He's done it, but will he be ready for Apex on the longest lurk, the biggest flank this world has ever seen? Well, Apex is the IGL now, and with that comes the big brain responsibility of making these make or break decisions. He's wrapped all the way around through B. If he keeps running, he is surely dead. And so he's going to start to sneak. Cold, not aware. Ooh. Who wins this? Cold's going to have to land the flick of a lifetime. There it is. There's the peak, and Cold gets it done. 14 for FaZe as they narrowly skirt by that round in spite of RPK's best efforts on the other side. He is looking so damn crisp right now. 29 kills to his name. Him and Shock still having this internal competition as to who's going to finish first. But a first place finishing on your team, while it's all well and good, you want to be picking up the victory here with two of your gens having such a, a lights out performance. And so this must feel heartbreaking. You can see Apex there frustrated as to how that round plays out. Yeah. That was a must-win course as well. Look at the complications. Look at the effect it's had on the money. They have 2K up against 14. This is Vitality playing for overtime. That's not pretty. They had a point where they were fully in control of this map. They were 14-12 up. They had the money broken, but FaZe not giving up. Nico from the site dropping Apex out into middle as well. It's not going to get prettier for Vitality, who have no grenades to cut off this line of sight. And... They're going to have to go back towards B, grouping for the tunnels. It's exactly what FaZe should expect. Will Kirby make the move up on long? No reason to against low money. FaZe know uh, where Vitality's cash is at right now. 
And so you don't want to be the guy to give it away when you have an advantage. You're not requiring this info so much, thanks to Nico. Broki, well, time smoke. They have seen him there. He hits the shock and the deed. Bail them out. Oh, Zywu gets spammed. And that's surely the round. Shocks can grab the pistol, but what can he really do with it? He's not even brought the bomb. And maybe that's a bit realistic. Hey, you can tell where his mind's at, right? You don't grab that bomb, you're just playing for damage. And the damage is all coming the other way. Oh, oh, there it is. Brokey securing the 4K, putting map point on the line for FaZe. And now the investment for Vitality. It's a last ditch attempt. This means that this game either keeps on giving and Dust2 continues in overtime, or FaZe narrowly take their map pick 16-14. That does set us up for a great series as well, right? You know, when you when you win your map pick so close, you know the Vitality are going to be coming back in with a vengeance on Nuke, the second map of this series. I can't wait to see what they have in store there, but will it be soon or later? Apex, oh dear, mollied out. Somehow doesn't take much damage. He gets away with his life. FaZe have gone back to this triple long setup, and when they have done this, Vitality have had no way to get into that position. They're going to run up cap fast. The flick for Nico hits the shot. He won't take the kill. In fact, he'll lose his life, and it's RPK once again being the hero of the French side. Oh, Zaiwu in with one. Make it two. It's actually RPK to steal it away. Broki and Cold Zera two on five to try and deny overtime and Cold down in the pit while he has dealt with the first. Oh, Can't follow up onto the tank who spanks him down. It's all onto Broki in a 1v4. Out through mid he goes, but lurk it up in the top. It's Apex ready to put a stop to this wrap from Broki. He does get bested. 1v3 now. Up onto the catwalk, but Masuta and Shox both lying in wait to deal with him. There's the first. Brokey bought down low, and the Molotov oh. has put a stop to the push. Oh. He <laughs> perishes in the flames, and this game has gone the distance, and now it's going to go that little bit further. 15-15 and overtime here as Vitality were just about able to claw their way back in right at the very end from 14-15 to an OT. Phase. This is their map pick. Ooh. And it's a fast long play. Rain ain't even looking. He smoked off. They're already deep. They're already out. And Zai Wu going to open up with the first. Masuta follows. And long. Well, it belongs to Vitality. I like that idea as well. Every time we've seen FaZe triple long, as they did in that last round, uh, Vitality have just had to concede it. They've had no option as the mollies and nades fly in. But FaZe, they, they throw the molly, they throw the nade, they think they have it, and Vitality pop out with the smoke. Zywu posted, and Rain goes for the fight. He will lose. FaZe are definitely not ready for that kind of pacing. And now Vitality, they take long, but they go back. Now that's info that Nico should have. Brokey's killed one in middle, but it's not the end of the world right now because FaZe has split 1-1-1. One, one, one. And with only Cold here at B, he's going to have to put up a monstrous hold. Brokey, his rotation is perfection. He's actually in the sight as well. He's here to the death, till the bitter end. He's drawn their attention. They'll still check him. Mizuta doesn't fall for it, but he will fall after that kill. Doesn't matter. The B site belongs to Vitality and the round will follow as well. Very unfortunately timed unscoped. Yeah, Nico, he may as well give this one a look in, right? 1v3, but with Max Cash, he's feeling fine. So creeping in through the tunnels. He's already scoped up because he doesn't want to give away that sound cue later on in the round when he's already close enough to the site. That leaves him full on Cyclops in his way in. No one's going to give anything up for Vitality. And so Nico, he's not even going further than this. He's just playing for these exits. And here they come. Oh, oh missed shot. Goes back. But RPK, as we've come to expect from him, fast on the trigger. It's 16 for Vitality as they get the first in OT. And there we go. I can finally do it. Look, stay hydrated. I undo my water bottle and I... We, yeah, we don't need have a, a drink there. We don't need any ASMR, Harry. We don't need to hear you drink. It's pronounced asthma. Asthma. <laughs> okay. I, I have asthma. Uh, um, 16 uh, to 15 now. Vitality. Ooh. Auto sniper on Apex and Masuta. Try and cross the mid doors phase. We dare you. Would it even be Cologne if there weren't snipers peering down mid on Dust 2? It's not Apex getting dropped this time. He's the one calling it. And Zaiwu is going to find that opening kill down middle. The pressure is on. <laughs> I like that idea. He searched for the memory banks of like, what strat really got to me on Dust? I remember. graffiti on the wall. I remember this strat. Well, Zaiwu posted up at the AWP and he's going to get rewarded. Nico walk into his demise phase. This is scary. 
They were able to reclaim that very, very rough scoreline. They were, what, 9-3 down at one point in time, and then it was them to reach map point first. Well, now in overtime, where it really starts to matter most, things are starting to fall apart, and Zai Wu in with his third in the round. It's all on terrain, all alone in a 1v4. 17 looking inevitable here for Vitality. Unless Rain can do something remarkable. Masterful calling from Apex. Okay, guys, hold. Vitality get a kill. Okay, guys, keep holding. Vitality get another kill. Okay, guys, keep holding. And there's a third. Like, FaZe, they just dig themselves a hole there, as you often do when, you, when you're down a man, especially on a map like Gus, you feel the need to try and change the game, try and catch someone off guard. Zywu finds four in the round. They just feed the beast. They just give him everything he needs. Remember when this guy was at the bottom of the server when he had eight kills, 20-something uh, rounds deep? He's now got 21 kills to his name. That round certainly helps, but it might just push Vitality over the edge. Think about this as well. Obviously, only three rounds here on this T side. Vitality won two out of two so far. They've not even done some of the things that got them here, like that fast cat play that was so successful in regulation with RBK getting all of the entries. We've not seen a B round either. And so FaZe, this has got to feel rough, right? You take that two minute break going into OT and everything you know, everything you remember is forgotten already. Vitality, strong opening two rounds of this overtime. FaZe's work is surely going to be cut out for them now. They need this one. They need anything. This, I see an auto sniper, Harry. It's going to happen again. Why not? You've got nothing to lose. You may as well go for it. Double auto, double orb. Let's hear that spam. It's a crescendo of death. Dump, 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 dump. And Cold Zero, the only man to get tagged. If that's if that's anyone else ever, uh, you know, anyone from my pugs at least, it could just be one AWP or like a D down mid and you're still getting killed. So they've done well to get by. Even the 30 damage is just worth it, right? Like these rounds are slow starts for Vitality and FaZe because of that uh, spam down mid should know about it. They shouldn't be pushing early because uh, Vitality are late out of spawn and as a result are going to be far more cautious about positions that would typically be theirs that are now lo no longer the case. Nico though, pushed up on long with the AWP. He's not been seen, he's not been spotted, but Shox is waiting as mid gets taken. Kiabi argues and out. I like it. He's got that back inside of the A site, trying to hold down Catwalk. There's a lot of utility going his way, but it's a mid play. Zai Wu caught by Raid. And that might cause Vitality to go back into this A side take. Now, Kirby waiting with this org. Apex. Oh, there's the head, and Kirby delivers the kill. Followed up onto by Masuta, oh, no. but it burns in Apex's Molotov. He had it out in his yeah, hands. Yeah, he so was he trying to it throw drops. it. That's such a shame. Nico, ooh, a little flick back round to deal with shocks, and that leaves our PK, the tank, to have to come alive. Taps down Nico, and now into a 1v3. Our PK. This man's been getting a lot of love for this performance. Let's see if he can deliver the goods in what was a 1v4. This is a very tall order indeed, and he's looking for these kills. Brokey dropping a Molotov from short. RPK still standing tall, waiting for the fight. He actually drops down. Rain is in CT, and RPK is not aware of it. Brokey's going to get the kill. It's 16 for FaZe, 17 for Vitality at the end of the first half. That means FaZe, they need to go flawless if they want to get this one over the line. He's got that right hand of view model because Rain gave him a couple little jiggles there, and he did not see him. Yeah, that's so unfortunate for Mizuta, right? You can uh, he, he trades a kill. He, he finds Kirby deep on cap, but he doesn't want to commit as he's the only one there. And because Apex got killed lining up utility, as he dies, the molly drops out of his hand into the ground. There's very little Mizuta can do there. Maybe he should have gone forward, but wasn't to know. Zai Wu, he's smoked off on long. He'll have to concede it. Vitality now on the CT side. Remember in regulation, this took a while for FaZe to warm into this half. They got three rounds fairly early, but then Vitality went on a hot streak of five. So FaZe, they found the solutions near the end. Well, now they've got to start with them. There's no time for losing. Oh dear, that's a great Molotov. Nico hangs around and it takes 80 damage. The grenade, oh. a further 10, and he is on the edge of death. Cold holding onto this mid play, and this could be perfect if these CTs decide to get a little bit antsy. Whoop. There's one. Any more for Cold Zera? RPK. Oh, oh. Peaks when the Molly comes out, and now they can wrap onto short. That forces FaZe to have to just hit the hit the gas on this one and commit to an A play that. 
They've kind of been forced into. Nico flashed off the angle. Zaiwu's going to collect these kills. There's another. As now this bomb goes down inside of the A site. Kirby wrapping into Ooh. long, but RPK here in with his second. It's all left on terrain, and he gets bested right away. 18 for Vitality. Map point on their opponent's map pick. And now just one away from getting this Dust 2 affair over and done with. You just can't stop Latank right now. He is on another level. He might 40 bomb this map, Harry, if he finds a 3k. And what could be the last round here? We have two left, a, a, a bare, or not a bare minimum, one left at bare minimum, but two left potentially if FaZe want to drag this to another overtime. It is doable. It's not going to be easy. They can't win in OT1. And that's always a rough feeling when it turns from you now playing for the win, for you now playing not to lose. We'll see if that has any effect in their gameplay. Cold on the AWP as well. Taking it over Nico. Zaiwu's got the AWP on long. A great, great shot to open up. Gonna try and flick to the second. He gets spammed back, but he doesn't need to commit here. That opening kill has provided a lot. And he's got more where that came from. Nico with one out in tunnels. Catches Apex aggressive on catwalk. But Zaiwu has done the damage. He's found two. What 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 happened? Uh, this guy has come alive in these last few rounds from being silent in the server to pretty much one I don't say the reason they're here. RPK's been a huge factor, but he has been hitting every single shot round after round phase they go all the way back to b and they leave cold coming back from the tunnels checking for aggressive cts vitality are not going to be making that mistake they are a man up with map point on the line they can just tuck and wait toward a dust Zaiwu's homing in down long from the car. Masuta has cleared out the tunnels. That's an early rotate into the A site phase. They've been read like a book. Zaiwu on the angle. Oh. They're going to try and run boost He's cold ready. round, but he plugs Nico out from the bottom. Zaiwu, another. He's on for the ace. Cold's homed in on his position. Molotov out. Zaiwu missing the flick, but there's shocks to save.